Brought to you by white supremacy. Is that so? Good old storefront. And Strategic Simulations Incorporated. These guys made a lot of these games. So it's, it's, it's brought to us by Stormfront and the SS. That is pretty loud. I don't think I'm going to lower the music. Though. Monsters will fight to destroy your city. Because they're dicks. I like that the intro is basically a trailer. But I already bought the game. I mean... Getting you hype. The city will grow and grow and stop growing. Because sometimes you will realize that medieval city planning does not allow for urban sprawls. But beware Mindark, who is a level 36 evil sorcerer. The name of the game. It is. So welcome to Stronghold, an official Dungeons and Dragons product. And here are all the dudes that made it happen. Is there a single name here we recognize? Don Daglo. Crispy Green. <laughs> Test support, Kim Goyer. Jeff Shotwell. But how, how well? Probably a cool dude. Then like we go, Crispy and then Green, we go to black screen, and then the game restarts. Because Duh, you idiot, you're supposed to skip the trailer, because otherwise you don't get to play. Demo cancelled, thank you. So, welcome to the actual game. <laughs> ah. Alright, let's start a new game. Oh, it has Chivos. Oh no! Enter the first word. Line 2. Oh, page God. 9. It is the. Here we go. So, which new world? First city, world 1, world 2, world 3, world 4, world 5, or random? I don't know. <clears throat> Whatever. Let's go to custom hostility level. Low yes. intelligence enemies. There we go. <laughs> Just put a one in everything. Actually, let's not do that. Let's play in the first world. We'll play in peaceful hostility because this is the first play. 
And I will begin the play, Snidgen, when I feel like it. <laughs> Step back, we're still doing settings. Create Baron or Baroness. Okay. Time to re-roll forever. So what class are we playing, guys? We're playing a halfling. Dwarf. Dwarf. All dwarfs all the time. Then we need high strength and constitution. Let's keep rolling. I like how a halfling was the only one you're locked out of if you don't have the right stats. <laughs> you can't be a halfling. But I want to play a halfling. And this is going to take a while. Constitution 5, and then you pick a dwarf. Yes. Yes, that is how the game is played. There we go. That's more like it. Emma Durf. You may ri raise a primary ability by trading two points of another ability. But we don't care. So, are we lawful, neutral, or chaotic? Oh, are we chaos dwarves? Hell yes. <coughs> First word is lawful, the other is chaos. Why am I not surprised? Chaos it is. A chaotic leader must destroy all enemies. Oh, is that so? Yes. So are you a boy dwarf or a girl dwarf? Dwarfess. Dwarfette. A dwarfatrix. A dwarfette. No lurkopter. Your choice of physical sex does not do anything for your stats. What I know. Well, I know. Select the character's name. What a female dwarf's name, anyway. Um, Dorfina. There we go. Keep Dorfina? No, discard her. <laughs> Let's see. Place Dorfina here. Okay. Yes. Okay. Now we need to. Did not be placed on rivers. Are you dumb Some or something? Her, 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 her. Let's place Rafina here. There's a rock here. She'll like that. Let's see. Population zero. <laughs> well. Alright. How are we supposed to start a city? Scruff, 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 scruff. Oh, hey, we have dudes. Hello there, dwarf. We need to build more houses as soon as possible. Okay. I would say he's right. What do you know? Let's see, main castle, zero percent complete. So let's take a look at ourselves, I was about to say. See if we can find ourselves. By looking at a dude, and then we go to the leader, and... Oh, we don't have a face! We sure don't. <coughs> Why don't I have a face? Now who are all those tiny laborer guys, anyway? And why are they using zip lines to go up and down? I mean, it's really cool, but... Okay, yeah, right, that's the main menu. Maybe we should build houses for the laborers before we build the castle. No. Undeveloped land. We can create a party member, though. Mm. Strength 18, dex 7. Good show.
So, maybe we should have a mage, maybe? Uh. And, uh, what alignment should the mage have? I think it's best if we stay with our own kind. A chaotic mage. He's a boy mage. His name is Lastrin. Okay. Place the Lastrin here. There we go. Oh no! We cannot place him there. It's not a river, by the way. Not in any way, no. He can go here. Ray. Now he also has a stronghold, you see. That we can Everybody use. just wants their own stronghold. Yep. Man, construction is not going very quickly, is it? Excuse me for a moment. Let's see. Let's just put them all to the building. There we go. 89% building. That seems about right. Has this guy even managed to train? Oh shit, he's actually made like 400 experience points already. God damn. Yep. Things sure are happening. See, I think that our main castle needs to be completed before we can start placing buildings, Nijin. Just that it's taking a while. Alright, now it's 34% complete since we actually shift over the building. Suddenly things worked a lot better. Okay, so why aren't things being built? They are being built, totally. <coughs> it's like 67% complete. Wait, what? Oh. It jumped 33% in the time it took for me to close the window and answer your question. What the hell? Mm. And no. Lastrin is only going to be recruiting and training. There we go, now we have a castle. Hooray! Now what? Now we start moving about building houses and shit. Hmm. You say so. Yes, I do say so. Now for me to figure out, or rather remember, which freaking button that is. Ah, it has been a long time since I played video games like these. This isn't even a video game, in fact, it's a PC game. I've never played a video game. Provides housing for 25 people, that's not bad. Mm. That's not bad at all. Yes, that is indeed undeveloped land, and that's why I want to develop it. Man. As usual, I can't remember anything about this game.
Oh, hello. A dwarven home. It is complete, finally. Yay. <coughs> Only dwarves can live there. Yes. There we go. Plot. Creates food and income. Let's put some farmland there. Why do you need scaffolding to make a plot? <laughs> Look, maybe you don't understand how this works. But here's the thing. Oh, I think it's just fencing. <laughs> Claim this tree? Yes, I will claim this tree. Pretty sparse trees. Let's see, if it's uh, seven people, not bad, not bad. Let's see. Everyone is cheering because they're everyone super loves it. I'm glad. Income two. I like it. Oh, auto build was on. That's why things were happening. Let's see. Let's check property. What buildings do we have? We have one castle and two farms. And that's it. Magic mills, gem mines, mason halls. We need a bath at once. <laughs> Plebs are needed. needed to develop our lands. See, I think someone is out walking in this area now, so that means we should be able to build in it. Yep. Someone is building a dwarven home. So let's see, let's put down a, uh, I don't know, a granary maybe? Let's see, where's the bath? Oh no, we can't build the bath! This oh is, no. What is this bullshit? Where am I supposed to take my bath, damn it? Hate you. This is all oh, more farmlands. Can't hurt. Let's claim this tree. It's my tree now. Tree zero percent complete. <laughs> Why do you need scaffolding for a tree? <laughs> <laughs> Look, you're asking so many stupid questions, okay? Yes. Let's see, that is, uh, yeah. That's his little castle here. Let's see, is that him out walking? No, it isn't. It's just one of his mages. Let's have him build a marketplace, because why not? People can trade in grain, and that's it. Yep. Because that's all we have here. Hey now. <coughs> Don't say all. <laughs> this shit is good stuff, you know? I like grain. Grain does. leads to bread, bro. Not let's, for us. Let's excavate this. Oh, hello! We have gems. Neat. That means that we will have a gem mine. Yes, it was a good, good idea to settle near a rock. Yup. That was my plan all along. Let's see here. Okay, so this tree. It, it feeds two people, but we can pay 400 gold pieces to upgrade it. <coughs> I want an upgraded tree. Why not? Because it's like all of our money. <laughs> I guess there is that, isn't it? Let's see. Yes, yes, you're all very happy that I'm here, I understand. So now that we can't actually build here anymore, 
Let's see us do, do like this. So there's more training and more recruiting. Like these dudes here, they'll be walking about. I like that upgrading a single freaking plot is 500 gold. How do we make money? Taxes, trading. Hmm. I think we still have a uh, acceptable income, I was about to say. Yeah, an income of four. Our popularity is currently 69%. Good show. Maybe those gems will bump that up. More building, more recruiting, damn it. There's no one around. We need more dwarves. It does seem that they've been spreading out north, though. Yep, there are dudes just watch walking about. They're like moss. I see. Just trust me. I see. Chop down that tree. So what, Storage what shed. Nice. What does cleaning a tree actually do? Do you make a tree house or something? I don't no, get it. No, you just uh, have a tree. Don't ask me, damn it. Man, I love games that don't even have sliders for this stuff. He has freaking workforce pyramids and stuff. That's the good stuff. Oh, let's see. It seems that our friend the mage is spreading out. What is this marketplace doing? Creates 5 gold of income and accesses 10% of the market fund. There you go. What does that actually mean? No one knows. Castle is just standing there. Not much happening. No one is fighting or anything, they're just, you know, walking about. We're supposed to be killing everybody, by the way. <laughs> hey now. These things take time, buddy. Hey, is that a. Oh, that's what Lady Dwarves looks like. <laughs> hmm. She can't help but feel that this would be a good place to build something to help our people. Our you people? You don't say. Our people? Uh, I like that it says granary, but if you select granary it says that it's actually a storage shed. There's a crap load of stuff we can't build yet, though, because it's all super expensive. Oh well. More farms. Build more farms. It's good to let people eat, I find. So they claim. But look what happened to America. Everyone got fat. Or, well, at least the people that can't actually afford to eat well did.
How's that gem mine coming along? It is 38% complete. Just shift everything in the building. I want that thing done now. Doesn't seem to be any sign of any enemies around though. That's also a good thing. Not in our case. <laughs> We're we supposed need, to be we need to destroy land. all yeah. enemies, so there needs to be more of them. Jeez. A dwarf unit of four. Four dwarves. I like that Lacer's little castle and so it just looks like a way house or something. A magician's room, I see. What does a magician's room do? Provides housing for two people and storage for ten food, I see. It's just a little Not house that only two people can live in somehow. Not that two people will ever be inside it. Since the wizards are perma virgins. Yep. Oh, you can fill in a swamp. But why would you do that? <coughs> I know, right? Swamps are great. Perhaps more houses? Well, let's I'm check good it out. on that. Just curious how we are doing in general here. Oh no, our income has fallen to negatives. That is not a good thing. You know what provides income? Farms. <laughs> we have six farms. Let's check our census. We have seven level one units and a population of 20. Let's see. Maybe we should stop recruiting. I bet that it's these guys that are demanding payment. And it would be great if there was some sort of, uh, you know, income here. Let's see. Check money. Mines are good source of gold. Okay, we know that. Place farms. Make gold. Okay. Yep, everything about makes sense. So more farms. Yes. So it seems. Farm crazy. I guess marketplaces too. We already have one though. I don't think we need any more than that. Just farms forever. Cover the entire land in farms. Yep. So how is that gem mine coming along? 63%, yeah, good show, guys, good show. Just a few more hours and I'm sure it'll be done. Oh, hey. More houses have appeared. What is that building in the background? What is this? Oh, that is our granary, that's what it looks like. Hmm. Huh. Yeah, and that's basically what's costing us our, our entire income, because it has an upkeep of 10 gold. Yeah, and we kind of already have enough storage in the castle. But you never know. Another magician's room? Maybe we should start forcing the people to pay taxes. I don't see why not. Then we have the common fund. Wow. Laser is making shitloads of money, asshole. <laughs> Hate that guy. Let's check the bots. Are there any bots on the map whatsoever? No. No one ever baits. It's a damn shame. Let's 
see, the first season is almost over. I'm not sure, is it spring currently? Maybe? Yeah, shop down that down tree. So the weekend plays even more farmland. This place is going to be absolutely ludicrous, I realize. Yeah, you have all your farms at the center of town. Which you can't really avoid, in a sense. Yeah. Yeah, mine... 88% complete. Uh, uh, oh, now. Oh. oh, there we go. The moment I looked away, it finished. Mm. Let's check it info. Whoa, income crate is 250 gold. Are you fucking kidding me? Huh. That suddenly switched the things up a bit, one might say. Our income went from minus 4 to 247. Well. <clears throat> How are we to take advantage of that? <laughs> See, I wonder. No, there's nothing there. I'm just trying to figure out if there's some way to speed up time, perhaps. Does recruit just recruit more people for the town, or does it convert regular people into warriors, or how does that work? It, it creates warriors, yeah. Hmm. Makes a certain percentage, so to speak, into uh, dudes. What's going on over here? Apparently, his plots are houses. That makes no sense. What is going on? What is he building? They managed to get some food. He's building even more magician's rooms all over the place. God damn it. Not He's everybody is a magician. <laughs> Why are you so just... Oh, terrible. Oh, geez, suddenly we have 800. Yes! Now we can build walls and stuff. For gold storage. And armory is nice with all the money we're getting. I wonder how much gold we can store anyway. Forges, let's say, no. Thing is we need more money. We always need more money. We have more money. We do not have more money enough. And we still can't build things we actually want, I was about to say. <laughs> I want the bath! It doesn't have to be so hard. Alright, let's build a fucking vault. Yes. And all you ought to do is build here. This is maximum build. And apparently the official name for it is the Money Dealer's Shop. I think you put it on Maximum Train instead of Build. Oh, did I? Yes, I did. Ah. Ridiculous. I am the worst. <laughs> the literal worst. Nothing ever works. Let's place a tower nearby so that it can shoot at things. Powers aren't very dwarf like. Well, you know, maybe if they extend, extend really deep into the ground, maybe? I don't know. A reverse tower. Yes. <laughs> the stupidest possible thing. A reverse tower, otherwise known as a hole. <laughs> hey now. Don't be like that. So let's build a forester's camp here, since we have claimable trees and stuff. I like this as it enables claiming of trees, but we've been claiming trees yeah. left and right. I guess maybe Forester Camp improves the claim tree income or something. 
Man, in-game help would be great about now. Let's see, here we go. can I build here? Yes, yes I can. Excellent. Maybe we could create a different party member. Maybe we should create an armory. And next to that, we will place a guardhouse. That just enhances training. Never mind. I mean, <clears throat> we have a warrior and a mage, but we need a cleric, I think. And then we're well rounded. Mm, I suppose. Let's see, how are we doing with food in general? I was about to say. Food production is currently 64, food stored is 794. We have 935 food storage rooms, so we're doing pretty well in that regard. Mm -hmm. I don't think we need any more farms. Not at the moment. No population will catch up. So let's build some houses. Welcome to SimCity. The moment he gained any sort of money, he just went crazy. Brain Amp is very concerned that you don't have a cleric. As am I, really. Well, let's Ridic create Ridic a cleric here and put them ha put them down here by all these rocks. Maybe they are full of gold. Yeah. Now, he will need a wisdom, because if you are wise, you believe in God. <laughs> I guess. Never quite figured that out. Make the worst. Oh, hey, hello, there we go. These are some pretty decent stats here. <coughs> Let's just grab some uh, strength points and put into wisdom. There we go. And he is, of course, a chaos cleric. Keep buddy? Yes, I will keep a buddy. I will place him oh. here. Here we go, buddy. And I will set you I'm to... I'm not chaotic. I'll have 100 you know. 100 percent build. No building and training. And then we will just excavate... Oh. There was nothing in that rock. Bullshit. Oh well. Hopefully you will spread in a hurry so that you can, we can start looking at those things. Mm. Let's see. North South Bridge, but it doesn't really help us, does it? Oh, here we go. East West Bridge. I'm gonna build a bridge to your territory. Across a lake. Yes. <laughs> Step back. Don't know me like that. Wow, Forcer's Camp has reached zero construction level. Why are you so fucking slow, you guys? Just 100% build. Do something. Jeez. Tree. Zero percent complete. And trees went 100% complete instantly because I changed building speed. Hmm. I see. Forcer's Camp jumped to 50%. Sure, whatever. Tree. It is a tree. So what is going on in these parts, I wonder? Oh, watch. There's a lot of construction going on in certain areas, but not actually much happening. It's starting to get a little bit frustrating, guys. So how much money do we have? Wow, we have over 1200 gold now. We are how making... much gold storage do we have? <coughs> I'm not entirely sure. But I built a vault specifically for that. Oh, hello. The season has changed to summer. The best season. Depending on uh, your not if you have allergies, I was about to say. Plot upgraded. I 
why would it cost several hundred gold coins to improve a farm? Oh, okay. and it's not fencing, it is scaffolding. So here's your loyal cleric. What does he have to say? I think that you should build shit. You don't say. He also thinks that you should get more health points. Well, I think he has dumb looking hair. Yeah, I agree. So he's not gonna get it. Wow, uh, that bridge looks really weird. So how does this thing work? Provides 2,000 units of gold storage. Okay, great. Wonderful. 1,000%. Let's see, you can't upgrade the bridge. Bullshit. I want a gilded bridge. Just put piles of gold on there. Let's see, you can't upgrade mines, as one might suspect. So let's pop on up and see what's going on with those buildings I started upgrading, if they actually look different at all. They're just exactly the same. Hmm. 50% complete. Oh hey, it turns from a dwarven house to a dwarven hall. Neat. Things are happening. How many doors does that hold? That's an excellent question. I don't actually know yet. Needs to finish first. So what's her income look like? Mm. Oh no, popularity has dropped. I wonder why. Oh, hello. What is that in the background? Is that the forces camp? Yes, it is. Claim tr claim trees automatically. I see. <coughs> We're running low on housing. It would seem. By yeah. the way. Luckily, I'm upgrading housing right now. Build more, damn it. So let's see. Oh, here's your little castle. Look at that. Neat. I like it. Very clericky. Yeah. Yeah. Quite. <laughs> now, now then. Farms. You want farms as well? Yes, right next up to your fucking keep. You know it. You want to be able to spit right down on the radishes from your window. Yes, but I hate radishes. Oh, that's so why that's that why you spit at yeah. yeah, makes sense to me. Now turnips, where it's at. Oh hey, so an upgraded farm plot apparently gets green instead. Huh. Before all the plants were dead, but <laughs> how they figured it out. The farm was not actually producing anything. It was pretty harsh. Leatherworks. Improves armor. So now these guys should have leather armor, right? But he's already wearing chainmail, though. So what was the point of this? I hate you. I guess all dwarves own their own chainmail. <laughs> they are born wearing chainmail. So, we have an unemployment problem, apparently. Maybe another market? Yeah. Let's see. What is the problem there, though, I wonder? Population is doing things, I guess. I wonder, we have no bakeries, no bars, no bazaars, no... <laughs> nothing. Hmm. <laughs> We need more gaming halls. Yes. <laughs> Let's just start placing arcades left and right. I think maybe a bakery would be good if that somehow converts food into income or something like that. I guess, but I haven't actually been able to find oh, a way to bake. Maybe that, that isn't allowed for dwarves or something. Dwarves don't believe in baking. Oh, 
Also, we're producing a huge surplus of food, and we have nowhere to store it. Yes, I know. I Dummy. Know. <laughs> How dare you. I'm the king, damn it. You're the baroness. I suppose. Oh, hey. You have uh, new territory. Yeah. That means that you can excavate rocks. I want to excavate the hell out oh, of them. Oh, iron deposits. Oh, damn. How about this one? Gold! Oh, ironic. Oh, damn, I'm going to be rich. Yes, you will. You can't have any gold. <laughs> By the way, I'm starting my own barony. <laughs> Hold on while I finish this bridge and just launch my army at... I like these dwarves that are just walking around, you know, you know, not doing much. Well, there's nothing for them to do, because there's unemployment. <laughs> She's complaining, no, no. We'd be happier if there were more houses, but you're yeah. complaining that you don't have anything to do. What is wrong with you? Why do you do this? Let's see, the Dwarven Hall. Provides housing for seven people and storage for 100 food. I see. <laughs> so it didn't matter at all! Hmm. <coughs> Let's see what the other houses can hold, that was about. To say. Did you... Did you claim all the trees oh, near the forest hall? Is my mine exhausted? That means that I will no longer have any money. Oh no, I'm back to minus four! <laughs> Let's see, and the standard houses can hold... Wow, the standard home can hold two people. I see. So, basically, now I'm not making any money. You, meanwhile, have just all the good stuff in the world here once you're done. Son of a bitch. Wait, so... So the party members do have their own, like, wealth, then? Yes. It's separate. Well, tough shit. <laughs> How about I pause your game? Wait, press space for a single game event. So, I guess that it just auto-pauses the next time something happens. Oh yeah, it's it's just like frame by frame, huh. almost, or something. Is this what cleric houses looks like? That is the silliest thing. Your houses are silly, buddy, Ripple. Yeah. You got a problem with my houses? Yes. Notice how they're curved. So that, uh... The rain will roll off. Yeah, exactly. Unlike all those other houses. <clears throat> Just get destroyed by rain. They just fall apart. This is a, some very interesting terrain here. Can we actually... Yeah, this t this location is unsuitable for building. I'd say so, yeah. Jesus Christ. He is just building more and more buildings. What is even going on? Why do, yeah. you, ha why do you have an income and I don't? I hate you. Fuck you. Magic man. makes a lot of money. I suppose. Freaking it can just conjure gold. Freaking alchemy and shit. Eat that. Where's that granary going? 25%. I still think marketplaces are the key to having a stable income. Which is why I demand you build one at once. More marketplaces. Yeah. Okay. The moment your area extends, I'll make sure you get one. Okay. Since you're going to have iron and gold and shit anyway. You need to offload it somewhere, right? Yerp. Is this area really mine? No. We've spread to this area, though, apparently. Yes. Here is a dwarf. He's walking around. The hell?
Let's see, so marketplaces apparently increases the value of crops and give access to the common fund. I have no idea what the common fund is. But I'm sure it's great. Yeah. Now I have no golds. Maybe... <laughs> I was gonna say maybe it's like shared wealth amongst your party members, but... Then you realize that, that, oh no, yeah. <laughs> that is bad. <laughs> I'm curious what's going to happen then when winter arrives and we suddenly no longer have any farming income. I mean, what am I supposed to do? <clears throat> Marketplaces. I suppose. I'm telling you. Marketplaces, marketplaces, marketplaces. Laser and has one though, but I don't know. Creates five gold of income and accesses ten percent of the market fund, apparently. So he has a fund of fifty-two. Okay. Mm. Let's see, then what is the common fund? I need to know. Help. <laughs> so the com the common fund is basically yeah. Hmm. It is basically the people's money, and you can use that to build shit for them. Yeah. I see. Wait, so can, can you directly tax people? I don't think so, it just... So I guess that's taxation, basically. Yeah. <laughs> I like how there's an option called, now what? Now what? And uh, let's see here. Common fund is 526 for me. For Lacen, wasn't it something ridiculous? No, 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 it's 526 there as well. I misread. So we have the same common fund, all of us. Then we just gain yeah. uh, differing access depending on our number of marketplaces. Maybe you should build one. I am working on it, goddamn. Okay, okay. I've been telling you. Step the fuck back. Why aren't my people spreading? I'm not sure, okay. actually. Maybe they need more houses or something. I don't think so. Oh, by the way, I should probably increase this to buildings so you can finish those freaking farm plots. I am a silly person. That's why. No wonder, Nobody you, can no eat. wonder your farms weren't doing anything. <laughs> Let's see, what is your food production currently, anyway? Oh, you're producing 15, there's no problem. Uh -huh. Everyone's just applauding. Yay! Meanwhile, my popularity is just dropping like a fucking rock. What is I doing? do like how every like class has their own building style. And they just keep complaining, there aren't enough houses, that's why we're pissed off. Well, we don't need a bigger population yet, moron. This would be a good place to build something to help our people, but it's like full of stuff. Why do you do this? Stop laughing at me. <laughs> There's people in the background laughing constantly at everything I do. Keeps telling me to create more party members, but no, I will not. Yes, 96% building, but nothing is happening. Let's see. I let's, guess you're let's put the game into resume mode so we're no longer using that uh, until next event thing. Can they just press space to speed up time? I guess what you're supposed to do is use party members kind of like 
like how you would place a city in civilization where you yeah. just kind of find the most abundant resources. Let's see here. Do, 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 do. How do I get time to move faster because god damn it. Too slow. Well, in those days, they didn't make, you know, uh, options for people who had supercomputers. Or options for people who had less than 10 hours to play. Mid-game saving? Chuh. Scrub. <coughs> Like your clerics that he has to march around though, and then in the image you can clearly see that he's wearing full scale armor and stuff, but apparently he's actually unarmed unarmed and using a staff. There we go. I wonder why I can give building setups for units that are in your area. I don't get it. You're the Baroness. I'm not even there. I can't be there, in fact. My initial dudes, how good are they at this point? They're still level 2. Oh, oh wait, hello. Looks like you've got more territory. What do you know? There is a rock there. Or is, is it the right territory? Is it one up, maybe? No, it's one down. What the hell? It's mm. been extending diagonally. But it's That's okay I... though, because you have shitloads of rock there, so rocks there as well, apparently. Wow. I am going to be rolling in it. Is that where you are? Is it here? No, they. Wait, what? They went down. Why would oh. you do that? Everything is I wrong. Guess a marketplace then. Yeah. So, how about that marsh? You want to fill it in, or. I like it. I like how there's a marsh right in front of my castle. <laughs> Go fishing. Let's see if we can go to big map mode. I wonder. Is there even anything going around going on on the map? Is there anyone around? Or is it oh. just me? I wonder if peace mo peaceful mode managed to completely restrain enemies. There was nothing around. Yeah, that might be it. It might be like Minecraft. <laughs> oh well. Doo -doo 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 -doo. But if we cannot save our need to destroy all enemies, then what <laughs> we will, will we never do? be satisfied. Hooray! We have an income of one. Good show. I'll take it. Good show. I think it's thanks to me finishing that Mark's place of mine. Yup. Also, I think we moved. I moved diagonally all the way to that, uh, those rocks. Yes, you did, apparently. Oh, I found iron. Finally, I can be dwarfish. At last, I can do dwarfy things. Ironic things. What are your dudes doing? We're just extending in the weirdest way, and apparently that doesn't count as part of the area. You have a tree to claim, though. Chop it down. <laughs> Kill no it. trees. Any other buildings you need? I was about to ask. A granary, maybe? No, we have enough storage. Oh, you can build temples. Take it. And a scribery. A scribery. Creates income, I see. It just gives you free money. I'll take it. I see. Location is too narrow for a clerk's office. Hmm. Screw you over. Whoa, hello. How's he just popped up? Problem is that when your assholes spread out, they just build houses and shit in the world. Bad choice of words there, but. <laughs> 
They just build their houses in the absolute worst places so that you can't actually build things. Dicks. There we go. Now. It's a big building, apparently, and super expensive, too. Hmm. Are my mines finished? Uh, let's pop up and check. Yes, they are. You have an iron mine, creates 50 income. And how about that gold mine? 125 gold. Nice. So you're <coughs> basically making money hand over fist here. 177 income, woohoo! Meanwhile, Lastrin, who's a lazy bum, is making 9. Pathetic. Uh, my income is... 1. Shit. <laughs> there has to be a trick to making more money. Seriously. How do I get Dosh? Place farms and income producing buildings to make additional money. What income producing buildings? God damn it. Maybe now that you have iron, you can make metalworks or something like that. Yeah, but metalworks just increases uh, armor, which means that it doesn't mm. actually give me anything. Do I not have any money buildings at all? What does the metalworks do? I wish I knew. It's sort of simple that you can't actually <coughs> tell. I mean, if you build two marketplaces, you'll be in the black again. Well, I, I told am you about the marketplaces. I am in black, in the black oh. already by one gold. Oh yeah, I... and, that, and that's the problem, basically. <laughs> Maybe I should just burn down my vault, since it's clearly not making anything anyway. Is yep. there upkeep on the vaults? <coughs> uh, no. But salvaging it gives me 167 gold back. So I can start thinking about other things. Oh, I spread out more. It's sort of annoying because it says what the building does if you can afford it. But if you can't afford it, it just says no, you can't afford it. So you don't get to know what it does. That makes things sort of tricky, guys. Oh, hello. Getting rid of the vault apparently dropped my income like a rock. <laughs> I see. Because you got rid of jobs, maybe? Popularity is pretty high, though. I'm sure it is. Hey, looks like we've spread down to the water. How completely useless. I think this will be one of those videos that when it goes up on YouTube there will be so many people just screaming in a rage. Why don't you know how to play this game properly, you piece of shit? I will murder you. Let's just build more marketplaces. Good idea. So what is the common fund? I suppose that maybe it's just the money of the people, I guess, but I still I, have no clue. I suppose it would just be like money in circulation. Yeah, something like that. I need to upgrade the houses, I think. Most of the houses that I have readily visible are already upgraded. 
Besides, it's super expensive. Did you know that Dwarven Halls have 60 hit points? I think maybe it's that, like, regular wealth is your personal wealth and common fund is the state's wealth. Yeah, so something like that. Oh, hey, I can build another marketplace. <laughs> Just keep dropping him in there. Now your territory is really starting to stretch out over yeah. here. Let's see what we can do. There is a tree. Murder that tree. Here's another tree. A little bit is just houses everywhere and nothing else. The marketplace of yours is trading five gold of income. How about that scriber? Is it done yet? Forty percent. Wow, that's taking a while. Just increase building to maximum. Make shit happen to you. Sounds good to me. <coughs> Meanwhile, I'm just spreading my farmlands all over the place. With the feudal lord I am. Need more serfs. And suddenly I'm making gold again. Oh, 48 income. What the hell? Where did that come from? Marketplaces. Seems a bit unrealistic that I would be giving that much. Access to 20% of the market fund, but why? Isn't it only 10% apiece? And income is jumping again. Why does income keep going up? I don't know. You're out of houses, though. Oh, hello. This contest. I am the best. What's the difference between a countess and a viscountess? Uh, that they're basically one rank low. Uh. I'm not entirely familiar with the Viscount system since it's a uh, French idea. Oh, well, it's so. clearly a Dorvan idea. Oh, right. Right. So I guess that I have more money now. So let's get more people. Families are squeezed together in tiny rooms throughout the neighborhood. Well, maybe they should build bigger houses than, rather than those tiny fucking stumps that they're currently living in. Holy shit. The fact that you can actually build here is sort of hilarious to me. I guess we're Hildorfs. And how? I wonder how they're going to try and render those. Oh jeez, body gripple territory just continues sweeping out. Yes. Let's see, clerk's office creates six gold. You well, have quite a bit. <coughs> that's not enough. Upgrade it. <laughs> <coughs> Make it the greatest clerk's office in the world. Yep. Let's see, I wonder how you're doing, are you doing food-wise since you have so many people. Oh yeah. Oh. I need you, to take a look at my stats. Your food production exactly ma matches the maximum housing space. So you should be fine. What do you know? I guess you could upgrade some farm plots or something if you feel like it. Nope. nope. Fuck or income noise. is what I need. In fact, why don't you throw another marketplace in there? <laughs> Put a marketplace right here. 
How about two? Or very capitalistic monks. Or <laughs> clerics, rather. And some farmlands right next to the marketplaces. I guess. Because they do actually provide income as well. Let's see, now I have territory up here. What is going on here? Claims and trees, sure, why not? I do not even care. Man, it would be great if I could get another mine or so. Oh, here's this asshole. So when you build uh, buildings, does that come out of the fund then? Uh, yes, yes it does. And then any left over is out of gold? I think so. Okay. No way, Tank and String has joined us and he has actually played this game. What do you know? Please help us! <laughs> We're yeah. doing fine. I have no idea how anything of this works. And apparently it takes from your gold first, and then it takes from the fund. Mm. Son of a bitch. Oh, no, I wanted to see the information target. So I want to see the difference between fields here. Feeds 28 people, holy shit. You get 6 gold from a level 2, and wait, you get a... You get 1 gold from a level 1 plot, but 6 from a level 2. Hmm. That is quite a jump there. Let's see, where are you spreading out now? Oh no! Looks like your mine has been exhausted. I think, have we spread out to more mines at all? I don't think you reached any more rocks now. Hmm. And oh no! Now you lost a lot of income. You're down to 65. And it'll be winter in just a bit. I think. Or maybe it's, shi maybe it's shifting to uh, autumn now. Actually. Or fall, depending on which you prefer. Build another scribery. <laughs> Scribus Maximus. Book based economy. If only. Well, since your guys are the only ones that can read. Oh, yeah. wait, hello. You actually do have access to a, another rock. Yeah. Let's see if it has anything in it. Oh, more iron. Weren't you a lucky son of a bitch? Let's put them in another marketplace right next to that scribery. Sure. How many marketplaces can you add anyway? Doesn't seem that there isn't a real limitation to them. What is that binder anyway? Oh, it's a plot. It's a plot. Maybe you should upgrade your trees. Upgrade your trees. I'm going to upgrade laser and strays, so we can see what actually happens. Because it's super expensive. Oh, and you, then you get a grove. Yeah. Hmm. Well, hello. Here's a but door it takes up the same amount of space, apparently. Yep, that it does. Maintenance cost of a tree is zero gold, but it feeds two people. With pine cones, I guess. Oh no. You know what? I want a logger's camp. I've decided. More money. You shall become a forester type. That's. <coughs> well, you have room for it right here, so. Is there trees, though? Yes, there's a tree right there, right, right next to it. A tree. I guess a tree will have to do. <laughs> it's a start. I just really love the idea of a forester just looking at them. Yep, that's my tree. Maybe a tree represents trees. You know? Yeah.
Let's see, that mine that went down it must have been yours, right? So don't recall me even having one. Oh, wait, no, my income dropped like a rock, so that must mean that yes, I did actually have a mine somewhere, I just didn't remember. Oh yeah, wait, right, that new iron mine. That's where my sudden burst of income came from. <laughs> oh dear. So now I don't have any money again. Keep upgrading these dwarven homes. Okay. So, I mean, what what decides how many buildings you can build on a block? Uh, the size. Basically, yeah. each block is four uh, spots wide. Some buildings are, have a width of two, some have a width of one, and some have a width of three, but are placed in the middle in a strange manner so that it takes up the entire one. Like my starting castle. Which, by the way, costs 7,000 to upgrade. Shit. <laughs> the hell is that supposed to work? Okay, I have 64 inhabitants, but I only have housing for 63. Great. So if this is based on like a tabletop setting, I imagine that you need a lot of spreadsheets if you're going to play it in real life. <laughs> you have no idea. There's another Dungeons and Dragons strategy style game called Birthright, which is actually pretty neat. Since it's oh, based yeah. on the Splat Book at the same name. And setting, almost, I should say. Birthright I've heard of. Yep. That is a tricky game to play, but it had a really neat uh, uh, battle system, actually. It was pretty impressive for its time. So what's going on here? Mm. Is that... Why aren't you... What? No, you're just thinking if... You have access to that rock, but I don't think so. Okay. They're ignoring the rocks. They're specifically walking around them. <laughs> I... Let's see. I could use a granary, because winter is coming. Winter is coming. Right. I specifically said it normally, so that that would not be referenced. <laughs> <laughs> it needs to always be referenced, oh. no matter what. You cannot escape. Uh, Jaybona wants to say more about Birthright, so let me tell you about Birthright. Birthright is basically a total war game, in a sense. Because you have a strategic map where you muster troops and basically handle day-to-day -day business like taxes and uh, all that stuff. Interestingly enough, you use this sort of strange action point system, so you can only do a certain amount of tasks every, d every turn. And, oh, now you have a transcriber's shop. 12 mm. gold twelve gold per time unit. I'll take it. And then when you send your armies into battle, it turns into this neat field that is divided, I think it's four by four squares, basically. And units that are in the same square fight with each other, and ranged troops can fire one square ahead. So you sort of need to... Duke your opponent out. Figure out where the, he is planning to send his dudes so that you can intercept them. Can I take a look at my my spreadsheet? Yes, <coughs> feel free. Applause! Current food storage is looking a bit harsh. Yeah, so I said build a greenery. Should yeah. be good. Production still fine though. Our territories are slowly but surely encroaching in one another. Mm. Soon. Soon we will meet. Actually, we have met, met I think. <laughs> Just four marketplaces in one square. And now my dwarves don't have anything to tell me. They just look at you silently. He 
this will be a mere pointed look. Mm -hmm. Another interesting thing about Birthright, though, is that since your dudes are characters, Dungeons and Dragons characters, you can actually have a adventuring party, and then you can go into castles, look for relics and stuff. So there is also a first-person Dungeons and Dragons adventuring part to it, which is really neat. Sometimes you can actually make out with more money just running around with a party and raiding castles. Oh, hey, do I have more territory now? Yes, and I found iron. That was my iron. Not now. It's mine. It's mine, and you'll never get it back. God damn it. Let's see, maybe I should build a bridge here so that we can meet. But oh no! Bridges, Bridges can't are be too over water. <laughs> oh. They are too expensive, is the problem. Oh no, that's actually right next to your keep. Hmm. So there is already a bridge in place here. So yeah, we're actually... we There are just two bridges separating us, essentially. Neat. Oh, I'll be right back. God damn it, you bastards. Build! Build! Need to finish those homes before winter. Who knows what will happen otherwise. Then we have good old Laster, and he's just slowly but surely spreading. But not much is happening. Wow, why do you have such a ridiculous number of houses, Lastrin? What the Christ? What is he doing? <laughs> he has houses everywhere, but nothing else. Why would you do that? I don't understand. And here are invisible plots due to the terrain just blocking them. Great. Maybe I should just get rid of this freaking leather worker because it's not actually improving my armor at the moment. And that lets me upgrade this home. And build something else, like, I don't know. Maybe. Oh wait, I can actually afford that bridge now. Okay, I'm back. I can How's it go? I can afford that bridge now, so I'm going to yes. head over in your direction and build it. A lot of dwarves just walking about. Making They're sure all that. homeless. <laughs> Those are luckily my recruited dwarves, so these are dwarf yeah. warriors. To fight against the. We need nothing. more income here. Where do we build shops, plant farms, or claim forests? We need more gold. Yes, but I can't build any shops, goddammit. There are no. There is no such thing as a shop in the building list. Goddamn. Well, marketplace. <laughs> I guess, but. Can everyone work at a marketplace? Does the economy really work if you do that? Apparently. Everyone is doing import-export business to each other. Non-stop. Can you upgrade marketplaces? Yes you can, and you now have even more iron. Hooray! By the way, that's how our modern economy works. Basically. <laughs> yes, yes it does. Nobody actually produces anything anymore. We just trade in numbers. Yup. I always like that when people point out that if the amount of money being circulated and used in the world has nothing to do with the amount of money that actually exists. Physically speaking, we do not have enough money to cover even one-tenth of the money that is being thrown around. Hmm. So the moment someone looks beyond the veil and says, hey, I would actually like my money, please, 
everything just falls apart. We are paying with debt, not money. I like that this force camp supposedly claims trees automatically, but it never does. It hasn't claimed a single goddamn tree. And what's the point if it's so it's so easy to just claim trees? Maybe you're yeah. like super busy. Maybe there are places on the map that have just a lot of trees. And we're just not there. He just decided, nope, fuck it, I don't even care. Let's see how I'm doing. Murmur honk, murmur honk. <laughs> you have 45 inhabitants, you're still turning a profit. And you now have 500 food stored. Nice. Meanwhile, Lastrin, that stupid asshole, is guaranteed going to die this winter because he doesn't have a granary. Hmm. I, meanwhile, have stored 4,200 food. <laughs> Stick to the safe side of things. The common I'll fund has decreased. Mm. I wonder, how does that work? Anyway... Google that shit. I'll take another granary and upgrade one of the scriberies. Let's see if I can find your scribery. Because I think that the second one isn't actually finished yet. Oh. I, was, I was trying to speed that one up. We have a fresh new marketplace then. Let's see, there we go. Clerk's office is 80% complete. So here are your trees. And so I guess yes. you can build a granary here. And maybe you should upgrade those trees. I don't know yeah. what happens. Upgrade the hell out of those trees. Tree upgraded. It is now tree level two. I don't even know. You have room for one more building here too, in case you want something. Mm. Let's see, what's on the next? Oh, a public bath and a builder's hall. Yes. All baths all the time. Oh no! Location is too narrow for a steam bath. Apparently it increases unit size? What? So that you get more dudes per uh, walking dude. Yeah, because, you know, they, they just get a little bit closer, they... Yeah, yeah. Kind of, there's some camaraderie developed. I'm sure, I'm sure. And then there we have the forge. I still have no idea what the forge does. Please build one so we can know. Go ahead. <laughs> Since you have the money. I bet it turns out that that is the main shop and it produces like 200 gold or something. Well, I would think so. I mean, you're converting raw materials into finished goods. It's one of the easiest ways to make money. And you have a shitload of marketplaces to ship the damn things out, too. Those fucking cleric chambers, you have small stone houses that two people live in. Over here though, wow. Here's... I was things are going down over here. Hmm. Because this is where I built all my marketplaces. All of them. It's good because it's in the center of all the party members, but that probably doesn't really matter. <laughs> Not really, no. And I also have trees, actually. They feed two people. What? Do they eat wood? Yes. <laughs> As I said earlier, pine cones. Oh, yeah. Pine cones are pretty healthy, you know. Not very delicious, but. Let's All see. dwarves are related to termites. Yes. Inn provides housing and income. Location is too narrow. What else do we have? An outpost. Populates a remote location. Next outpost available at the right marquee, I see. You can send out colonies, sort of. I don't see why you wouldn't just add a party member. 
There's some great terrain right here. This is the good shit right here. Location is too narrow. It totally isn't though. Chop down those fucking trees, I don't even care. Kill all the trees. Here we have a variety of dwarven halls on display. She doesn't build more houses, always more houses. In fact, I could probably use more houses, or upgrade ones at least. Let's see, this area belongs to whom? I have no idea. Oh, it belongs to me. <laughs> Ask not whom the place belongs to, it belongs to thee. That, that didn't work at all. Right, let's chop down some trees. Destroy everything. I like that the trees just disappear too. Just go disappear into the ground. Wow, okay. The inn costs 2,000 gold. Damn. Mm. That is not going to happen anytime soon, I think. Let's see how your construction is proceeding. Oh, there we go. You have another clerk's office. Let's upgrade that right away. Yep. If you can. Oh no, you are slightly short. Oh well. The question another is... Another marketplace. Are you still turning a profit? Yes, you are. You are turning a quite a healthy profit, in fact. Um, Maybe you should look into upgrading some of those houses. Yeah. I'm just saying, you know. Oh, well, you should do that. Right now. Like, in this line here, where there are just dozens of fucking houses with two people each. Would that even be allowed in a medieval city? Yes, no, I want to build this townhouse, but I will only put two beds in it. I guess, since it seems like I've, I've spread out to a grove now, I should claim those trees. What's going on here? We're getting an iron mine. And all these trees that you own. Let's see, there we go. Metal works. Oh, I see. Cost 10 gold replaces broken weapons. Let's just get oh, rid of that God. right away, shall yeah. we? Yeah. Fuck that works. And we have your fresh new granary. Which means that now you should be able to store a little more. Namely, 1530 maximum. Okay. Mm. Can I upgrade my castle? Um, uh, well, that's a good question. Let's check. I think so, but it's super expensive, though. Yep, your first upgrade level is 2,000 GP. Oh, it's not that much. Yeah, mine is 7,000, I think, so... Yep. Because mine has slightly more room for people and slightly higher food storage to start with. I like these just houses standing in a line here. How much room do I have now? I have 92 people. Nothing is happening. Pay taxes, damn you. What do you have to save yourself? We need more gold. Yes, I know. I think dwarves kind of got the short end of the stick as far as income. Let's build a house right at the top of the, of the mountain. Uh, Tank and Stream, we are playing and peaceful at the moment. Do more to a mistake of mine than anything else. I think I'm going to force this guy to build granary, because this is ridiculous. He has lots of food production, but he has no food storage whatsoever. There you go. 
Is he also losing? No, he isn't losing money, but somehow he still has less cash every time I visit his territory. He just needs more magicians' houses. Needs more homes. More. Cleric's gallivanting about, as usual. Then we have this iron mine that has taken, like, two years to build, it feels like. It isn't actually two years at all, but it has taken a long time. Let's increase building. Yeah. <coughs> Hurry that shit up. It will be winter soon, damn it. Oh, hey. We can excavate a rock. But it was empty. Ridiculous. At least you have yeah. your trees. Yeah. Oh, hey. You have access to this rock, too. Oh, mm. you found gems. I am going to have a nice castle very soon. Make you sure to set build all the way up. Claim me all those trees for you so that you get that extra income. Just make sure we have as much as many parks as possible. It is almost winter. How many greeners do you have? Uh enough, I think. I can store over four thousand food. Oh yeah, you have the castle. So we can find those freaking groves. <laughs> Look at that iron mine, you can't even see it. It's covered by the hill. The invisible iron mine. Let's see, so, grove. Inc oh, it creates five gold and feeds twelve people. Holy shit. Wow. Groves are great. The hell? Why don't I have a million groves, damn it? Apparently territory has extended further here, so we have room to do things. Speaking of... I really need to become a count so I can build a bazaar, because apparently, according to Tangle String, those sell excess food. Hmm. AKA free fucking money. So, Tangle String, tell me about dwarven buildings. What dwarven buildings are good if you want gold? An arena, perhaps. And the forge, which we learned was the worst thing. <laughs> Who is this dwarf that is marching around out here anyway? Yes, that would be a good place to build something. God damn it. <laughs> we know. Looks like we have a town full of architects. Well, la dee da. I'm gonna build some groves. Just gonna upgrade these trees. Spent all my money on tree upgrades. I like my little marketplace area here, it's pretty ridiculous, honestly. It also gives me access to 50% of the market fund, thanks to how many I have. Mm. All that dosh will be mine. Wait, I... Oh, these trees are mine. And there's a plot here I haven't done anything with. Throw a house down, I guess. More houses. We can have more dwarves. 
Speaking of Dosh, How I bet I can upgrade my castle. You have 1,432 gold. It's not quite there yet. Why don't you throw another marketplace down? Clearly, the problem is that I do not have enough access to the common fund. Yep. The people need to give me more money so that I can have a cooler castle, damn it. Sales tax. VAT, baby. There's no value added whatsoever. Sucks to be you, I guess. Tree is zero percent complete. Why is nothing happening with these freaking grove upgrades? Oh wait, holy shit, and just as yeah. I said that, they all upgraded at the same time. Now I'm gonna make that money. And food. Yep. Especially once that gem mine is complete. And you'll really be rolling in it. Let's see. Here's a space that I think is yours. Yes. Here you can Ooh. put some marketplaces down if you like. Blingity blingity blong. Just keep building marketplaces, why the hell not? To give you five gold apiece and access to the fountain, so why not? Our barony is really a, a paragon of multiculturalism. It's beautiful. <laughs> Except that it's perfectly walled off and only certain people can live in certain areas. Oh. How's our magician friend doing? Terribly, I suspect. Joking aside, I'm sure he's doing something, but... Magic, probably. Yeah. They do that, those mages. They like tend to do a lot they, they tend to do a lot of magic. Yeah. Oh hey. I have a rock. And I found iron. Well oh, aren't you lucky? I would be so lucky. Lucky, lucky, lucky. I would be so lucky in iron. One hundred percent building, maybe. That's what I'm talking about. I think it's something we should probably save this game so that it doesn't crash. I it. guess. Sudden disastrous crashes never helped anyone. This is what he spends his time doing, you know. He builds a single house in an area and then he just walks away. <laughs> He has his reflection pool and everything. And apparently a mage keep costs 3,000 to upgrade. Mm. And has worse stats than yours. Well, clerics are simple people. They know it is all about the money. Yep. Perhaps the same could be said of all religions. But enough talk. Wait, is there nothing in this area? It just looks like there is something in the area, but there actually isn't. God. This is me off. Just due to how the... Uh, how, just to how the terrain is rendered, sometimes you have no way of telling what the hell is going on. Oh hey, this is your this is your area. I see. Yep. So I bro I have broken into this area somehow. It would be neat if you could tell by the map whose territory it was, because from time to time I just look around and I figure out I have no idea where the hell I am. Whose area is this? Who knows? I'm always confused about people's areas. Time to upgrade some plots. And let's see, can we upgrade this castle? Yes, we can. Yeah. Go for it. Clear it, keep upgraded. 
And just as we do so, it shifts to winter. Nice. All money just runs out of our pockets. Everyone starves to death. Let's actually check. Uh, food production for me has fallen to 70. So I'm running a negative, but at least I have 4,365 yeah. food stored. You're all good. Uh, thanks to my efforts, Laser is probably going to make it as well. You have almost 2,000 stored as well, so that's not going to be a problem. Oh, gee, I got a lot, like... My population shot up, though. I really need some more farms. Yep. But still, remember that's only 25% in winter, so you still have enough room. I, on the other hand, just produce so much, it's not even funny. I like that popularity dropped like a rock, though, because it's winter now. God, it's always winter when she's around. <laughs> Dorfina, I hate her. Never snowed since you came. <laughs> Let me tell you. We need more income. But I can't even tell how many people things employ. It doesn't say. Hate you. Why is there no unemployment statistic if it's so important to you, damn it? I think. I mean, do you have positive income? Uh, yes. Yes, I do. Hmm. Well, you th you think that it might be just that, yeah, like it was like GDP or something. As long as you're turning a profit, everyone is happy, but no, apparently not. Does my castle look any different now? Or is it still building? It will most likely be building for quite a while, I think. Yeah, it's 10%. Not happening. And look at all your trees, just standing around, being trees. Let's see, where was that neat thing we built? Or rather, that we, you built, through my hand. There are even more trees, and that freaking invisible iron line. <laughs> it seems that your clerics are spreading out, so now you have a new area to build in. Hooray! Oh, damn. Farms. More firms. All four sections. I want farms. Let's chop down that fucking tree and put a farm there. Apparently, if you have a thief party member, he can build a building that siphons gold from the other players. Hmm. Fucking asshole. Well, why would you... Oh, I, I guess it would be other players, like other factions. Yeah, probably from your own as well. Oh. Well, what's the fucking point? <laughs> well, he gets more money, so you can just use the others as, just, you know, money bags. I suppose. If you're a real Speaking dick. Up, maybe we should make another party member. <laughs> In the winter. Things aren't too bad now, but what yeah. if the mines better out on monsters attack? We'd be happier if there was extra income coming in. How about you stop being a giant pussy? Pardon the expression. Jesus Christ. What are you people even complaining about? Seriously. And apparently population has dropped, but why? <laughs> we have 39 level three, 3 people as well, that's pretty ridiculous. Let's see, great laser in here has oh, quite a few level 3s and some level 1s. Let's see. So how about you? You have one level 3 unit. Oh. Good show. Well, I've been concentrating on income. I haven't been training or All anything. Right, let's create a party member then, shall we? Okay. Who has interesting buildings, I wonder? Probably the whole things. Oh my god, look at this stat line. Yes! Nice. 
should probably figure out what we want as well. We want, well. A, we want an elf or something. But what if the elves clash with the dwarves? Then we will have standard height offspring. I guess we would need like a, a rogue kind of class. So we're looking Excuse for dexterity for and intelligence then. Well, that seems about right. Here we go. Hmm. Right, so let's try and figure out a name for a female thief. Let's see. Man, this is trickier than I thought it would be. You like that, Blue Gravelling. You like that name. Uh, I think it was just slightly too terrible, actually. I'm sorry. Hmm. Man, you have quite a bit of room here. No, Blue Javelin, we are not using Snatch yet. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm back. Here we go. Stella? Mooney? <laughs> what? Ste Still old Mooney. Oh. You're... You're so clever. I don't know. We, uh, ever since you left with us being making these absolutely <laughs> terrible names, because we can't figure out what the hell to do. Pinchy Moocher. Because of me needs a butcher. And she was stealing all of your shit. What the fuck is getting away? Get her! Let's see. Perhaps this thief should have a tree based economy? <laughs> Not sure, actually. I'm just thinking that we should give her an own area of the map so that she doesn't bother the rest of us. <laughs> Cannot place. Let's see, where can we place her? Maybe it is too far away. Yeah. Roughly this far away is how close we can place her. Uh, 
You really just look around in the preview window and see how many rocks there are. You can check if you can just start with a shitload of resources. By default, she will bother your income. Apparently. I see. Oh well. Kill her. Uh... She can be your neighbor. <laughs> okay. Let's see. When I bet she's a nice lady. I'm sure. Let's see what her keep looks like, I was about to say. Whoa, what are all those red dots? Wow, she has her own music when those thieves have some pretty kicking rad music, actually. What the hell? Yeah, um, I think you missed something on the map, which is to say a bunch of red dots. Oh dear. Yeah. Oh dear. Not so peaceful you after all. You skeleton. Oh. Is it a skeleton civilization? <laughs> because that's awesome. Skeletive. Oh man. If you should really be able to play as skeletons. Look at all these assholes here. Jesus fucking Christ. There are a shitload of skeletons. Skeleton loyal to skeleton. Loyal only to the skeleton of my master. They're not very good masons. Oh, they live in root. So it's a bygone civilization. They do not care too much for trees, apparently. Oh, time to fuck up their shit. <laughs> Send over your level one clerics with their staves. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think we're more meant for healing. I pee freely. Yeah, but now we know that there are enemies around. Good I guess show. We, have, we have to start uh, worrying about recruiting and training. Actually, I have quite a few dwarves. Mm. Like, in fact, I have a shitload of dwarves. The only problem is that, due to how the game works... Whoa, all those mines are just falling apart now. We're doomed! Is my castle done? Let's go take a look. It's all I care about. So you can finally acquire independence. Yes. Uh, 70%. Hmm. It sounds about now. right. Slowly but surely. Like that the difference between a dwarven home and a dwarven hall is that the home has no door, <laughs> while the hall has a red door. Well, and an extra window. Two extra windows. Lots of extra windows, but it doesn't actually matter. Because they're exactly the same. <laughs> what dwarf needs a window anyway? They live underground. What the heck is going on here, I was about to say. A newly taken area and there's nothing there whatsoever. <laughs> want that bazaar. Or a Mason's Hall, maybe. Enhances building speeds, and that's neat, I guess. Maybe we should have kept that metalworks around, by the way. <laughs> nah. It seems like the skeletons won't bother us. I mean, they're on the other side of a lake. Yeah, they will probably have a bit of trouble getting around there, plus they, they are protecting that building. Mm. Wow, and Salamonia is just 
instantly spreading. I wonder what thieves' huts look like. <laughs> they just steal other people's houses. <laughs> <laughs> Oh wow, that was... Hmm. Not very impressive at all, in fact. Mm. It's a hut. Oh man, look at this guy. <laughs> look at the stuff I stole. So thrust trustworthy, that guy. You're so incredibly trustworthy. You can just tell by looking at him. Also, holy shit, do you have a lot of money now. That's cool. I think I'll keep it. <laughs> <laughs> it's my money. I think I'll cash out. Leave. <laughs> Can't really do that, though, can you? Oh. Wow, you have an income of 292. I think it's probably that the gem mine got finished. Yeah. In fact, I should build another vault. Oh hey, I have enough city blocks now. Now I just need to build my popularity back up to 57% again. Yeah. But yeah, I need a vault. I'm going to just bleed my... <laughs> we don't have anywhere to put this money. Let's just throw it out. I have so much money. I better just throw it on the ground. Because I won't be part of your system, man. Money dealer's shop. Yeah. That sounds like a safe place to store your money, alright. Mm -hmm. Let's see if you actually have room anywhere. I should. They just uh, expanded to the west. Yeah, but there are lots of trees and stuff there. I don't give a fuck. Shop them down? If you please. Destroy all trees. Oh, wait, no, 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 those are ones I claimed. Too bad. I thought, I thought you meant, like, new trees and the new places they expanded. It is you too fool. late for tree. You're trying to sabotage me. Luckily, you still have lots of other trees that you own over here. Oh, well. Maybe you should upgrade those to groves, anyway. Sure. Those are such amazing fucking investments. Seriously, holy yeah. shit. Then I guess, I mean, you could spend money on upgrading farms, maybe, or upgrading that scribe shop to a try and scribe uh. shop instead. No, I'm gonna save money so I can build an arena or some cool stuff. Something neat. Also, my keep is finished. Yep, so it seems. Nice. Not all Still, that much happened, yeah. though. <laughs> Amazing, it looks exactly the same. Let's see how much it actually improved. It gained like one extra tower and a lot of extra hit points though. Is this? Oh wow, housing for 100 people, are you fucking kidding me? You are in trouble now, you are not... Pr wow, you can house 165 people. How are you supposed to feed all of those? This is going to end very badly. No. Oh wow, and... Holy I'm going crap, to get 300 really? food production once winter ends. Yeah. So. You can house 59 more people than I can. How incredibly frustrating. Ah, I want my pro I want my. My castle is basically a hotel. <laughs> we got room for everyone. We do. So what's going on over in Mooney Town, I was about to say. Known colloquially as the moon. Marketplaces seem like a legit thing for a merchant. Yeah. Merchants would love to hang around in literal thief town, USA. 
Maybe it's just thieves selling to other thieves. Mine exhausted. God damn it. Just keep upgrading trees forever. I'm barely turning a profit. Laystrin is making two. You're making 290. <laughs> Stella is also making two. Man, this ain't easy. Oh, it's easy for me. <laughs> I'm sure. You're not even doing anything. You just have to sit there. Give the occasion well, an order and everything works out. If it wasn't for my excellent sense of direction, this settlement would have gone nowhere. I'm sure. Wow, we have spread all the way into the mountains now. What the hell? Let's just claim trees forever. I love these areas. There's just a dwarf marching around in the snowy wastes, looking at trees, going, yep. <laughs> this is our territory, alright. I hate trees. I wanna shove them all down. Kill them all. Can't afford anything. There is some ridiculous terrain grabs up here, though, I, that I just... that freaking mage grabbing four trees. Going, yep, now I have trees. been here for a year now. There is really no reason to chop down a tree, other than I guess to, you know, free up land. Yeah, make room for dudes. <laughs> he has the wind blowing across the wasteland and there's a freaking magician's room with two dudes shivering in front of a fireplace. <laughs> Maybe we should build a door or something. I'm not building anything! The we have if the Wiz Countess doesn't pay for it, I'm not getting it. Assholes. Ah. Uh. I wonder how the skeletons are doing. I wonder what Ganon is up to. <laughs> I think the skeletons are just mainly marching around in place, because that's sort of what they do. Yep. That tomb held by skeleton. You have encountered Skeleton. I do like the loyal to skeleton. <laughs> yeah, skeleton, loyal to skeleton. Lord Skeleton, that just happens to be the lord of several skeletons that like skeletons. And apparently the thieves are doing great. They love me. But in the heavily built and urbanized dwarven town, everyone is just going crazy. Why is not everything perfect all the time, asshole, they ask. I mean, what are they complaining about? Everything. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> they don't like me much. Because everything is too <clears throat> nice. I want to see if I can build anything cool. Alright. Pop back up to you in just a bit. Just gonna double and triple check what's going on in my territory. Upgrade this shit into groves. Grove Street for life. <laughs> Is 
see, you oh. spread all the way up into the mountains now. Oh. Your guys are just walking around here. Let's see if we got any rocks. I don't think so, sadly. Oh well. Claim the trees, I guess. Yeah, claim trees. Get that money. Sadly, they only provide money if you upgrade them. Yeah. Otherwise, they only provide food. Well, only, but... Each tree can somehow supply a household with food. Somehow. One, da one day we will learn how that works. And then we too shall become one with nature. Claim all the trees. Yes! <laughs> oh no, the mine is exhausted. Again. I'll just let it rest. <laughs> you have served me well, mine. But now you may rest, and he has dropped dynamite in the shaft. Let's see, there's your vault. Can, can you upgrade a vault? Yes, you can. Oh, how much? 2,000. And uh, now, let's see if I can build an arena or something first. Alright. Look around for some buildable territory, I was about to say. Since you're pretty urbanized yourself. There's a lot going on. <coughs> Around here, I guess. We can shoot down these trees. That should give you four spaces to work with. Okay. Let's see, one of those trees was apparently claimed, but oh well. You will have three spots to work with, at least. So, how about the public bath, I was about to say? Uh, or would you like inn? an inn? Yes. Yes. Clerics make the best inns. Don't ask me why. In and out clerics. No, <laughs> oh, hey, you actually have room to build something else as well. Alright. Business walks. Perhaps another marketplace. Why not? What does a temple do? Uh, it increases training. training speed. It takes two spots though. How about a. Oh yeah, scriberies are too big. Yeah. A farm. A farmland. A plot. Yep. What are the thieves up to? They're just enjoying life, it seems like. They're fucking overjoyed to be hanging out around here. <laughs> oh well. At least it will be spring soon. I can't I'll be right back. Why am I making so little money? Wow! Popularity is dropping like a rock. Ah! I could really do with an income spreadsheet of some kind, seriously. He's so helpful. Okay then. Living at the top of this hill must be pretty great. Yeah. Man, I wish I had wish I any was way fish. of making more money. Man. 
I don't know what to tell you. I like that every, everyone just hates me now, too. <laughs> like, er, gger, it's winter, I don't like you. And I'm like, what the fuck am I supposed to do? I don't control the weather, guys. That's the mage's work. That's majory, I tell you. Raid the skeletons. Maybe I should. I mean, we should at least see how that works. The dwarf is ready. The worst thing is I'm going to have to look around and find all my dwarves. There has to be a better way than that. There really isn't, actually. Hmm. That's the worst thing. Apparently this is what people are compla complain about a lot about the game, is that it's super hard to just keep track of where the assholes are. Dwarf is ready. Basically, as they're ready up dwarves, that means that they will leave if they have, if they're called, and then you play some sort of attractor thing, and then guys that have have been told to be ready start moving towards the attractor, mm. and then they get lost. Maybe we can bring our population down a bit, too. <laughs> In no. the progress, the process, yeah, I suspect that is exactly what's going to happen. Wow, there are a lot of dwarves walking <coughs> around here. They're all level 1, I suspect. Unassigned level 1 dwarves. So what's the difference between ready and unassigned? Uh, unassigned, they just don't do anything. But they can be called away. Ready characters, however, they are the always the first to get moving. Yeah. Tangle string. What? Oh, okay, okay. Now I understand what you're saying. Okay. That sentence was a bit difficult to pause. Uh. <laughs> A bit tangled. One might say. See, did I even build a forester? I don't think so. I do think you have one, though. Yeah, I don't need it. It's a neat building. Too bad that it's useless. Is my inn finished? I don't think so, but let's go take a look. Twenty percent. Mm. Okay, let's see if we can defeat those loyal to skeleton skeletons. Followers of skeleton. Yes. Now, how the hell do we place an attractor? That's the question. Let's uh, hop into the help and take a look, I guess. I don't know. Attract the people to a nearby block. Yes, but how do I... Pyramids and magnet bars to attract people to blocks. What? What? Let's see here. We oh, have that's how you do it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then when you get here, everyone just train. Train like madmen. Get over here, assholes. With the adequate training facilities we have. <laughs> yes. Speaking of, he suggested that we build a tower. Oh, I have to eat dinner really quick. Really but, uh, super fast dinner. 
But yeah, I might be back if you're still playing. I'll stay on the call. All right. Oh wow, I can see them on the map. They're coming. The dwarves. Look at all them dwarves. <laughs> they are taking some very, very strange paths, aren't they? Oh dear. This is going to end very badly, I suspect. Now we have a brick kill. Hooray! Increases building speed by 10% globally. 10%. Good enough, I suppose. Oh, there's the tower. 500. Jeez. Right. We are making... 4. 4 income, you say. Wait. Why has my housing gone down? Has houses randomly exploded or something? Doesn't seem right. Seems that the dwarves are assembling. Nice. All right, lads. Here we go. Fuck him up. Yeah! <laughs> Destroy! Smack his shit up. Yeah! How is this poor skeleton still alive? Annihilated. Right, let's reduce the magneting here. Oh yes. Keep on going. <laughs> yes! Rattle, rattle, rattle. Oh, hello. I'm all the way up, so I should be promoting in a moment. Neat. <laughs> I like this, there's a horde of dwarves emerge from one side and then just go crazy on these poor bastards. So how about those ruins? Can we do anything with them? Oh, we can remove them if we like, I see. Countess rank achieved! Yes! I am the best!
Thank you very much. Ruin salvage for one gold. So that's how it works. <laughs> She's just trying to track the dwarves through the area right next to the tomb. Just bring everyone in here. Everyone! Right, and start looking around to see where we might find room for a bazaar. Intelligent report skeleton unit destroyed. Skeleton unit destroyed. I like it. Oh, wait, hello. There's a purple mage here. Oh, so that's a lady mage, I see. I see. Something tells me I probably cannot actually afford a bazaar yet, but... Wow, there is a lot of combat going on over there. Should probably pop down there and make sure that they're... Wow! Ah! Are we losing men? No, apparently we, we're perfectly fine. You mean dwarves? I was really worried that, like, our guys were being completely murdered here or something. So I popped down and I realized that no, everyone is perfectly fine. I'm still eating, by the way. <laughs> Why are there so many level 1 guys here? Stop that. Okay, ready for the big fight. Here we go. We're attracting everyone to the tomb where every single skeleton in the world is standing around. We are taking control of this tomb. Jeez, there are a lot of skeletons here, what the hell? Actually, come to think of it, maybe the clerics would have been more adept at fighting the undead. Nah. Turn undead is cheating. Report engaged in Lag mode engaged. <laughs> Come on, boys, you can get him. Smack him. Crush him. Crack those skulls. Level 4 dwarves with banded armor and hammers should be able to take down a few skeletons, I think. Mages here? <laughs> what is that mysterious noise? <laughs> XP value ten. Nice. Nice. So many skeletons. I wonder if I'm getting paid for this. Are we getting any loot or anything? Doesn't seem like it. Man. <laughs> I like that little music that plays when a new enemy enemy unit enters. Oh no! Then we just 
smack the shit out of that guy as well. Why is it, why are the skeletons making lightsaber noises when they strike? Demolish the tomb, yeah! Oh wow. So, promotions? You don't need the promotion prerequisites if you do it through combat, apparently? I see. Neat. Right, boys, feel free to go home. This is Buddha's territory. Nope. Not building there. Why not? Because the money needs to go to me, otherwise there's no point. You already have money. Not enough. It's never enough for you. Man, my nice little groves. Can't get rid of those. This is hard. Just finding the room to place buildings. I need territory that isn't terrible mountains. Just going through one area at a time. Desperately searching through them. Here we go. Let's see, I think I can build various other things now, as well since I'm a Marquise now. Or she, rather, is a Marquesa. Hmm. Problem is that the outpost is several million dollars. Great. Great! Fine. I don't care. Oh no, wait, holy shit, are there skeletons coming for us now? Oh my god, there are skeletons everywhere! Holy shit! They were not happy about us causing trouble. Oh dear. 
Okay, uh... Send in the clerics. Yeah, send in everyone! They're just... freaking descending on Stella's castle, apparently. Help! <laughs> this is going dead badly. For what is this? Like a level? Yeah. A w lone level 1 vape is taking on like half a dozen skeletons. Go for it, bro. You can do it. Don't stop believing. See if units are destroyed. Welp. Never mind. Oh, hey, this is my area. I just shut down everything. This is apparently also my area. Oh dear. <laughs> the game could not handle all the battling. Oh. The battle was too much. Well, good luck with that. <laughs> oh dear. Well, I call it a victory. Yep, yep. I, I'd say that we won. Yep, yeah. Yep. So, thanks for watching, everyone.